Hello, uh, Mr. Thomas. Um, a question for you. You, uh, in your profession as a financial advisor, uh, what opinions do you have or feedback do you have so far as the benefits uh, to someone looking at uh, my econ uh, from your perspective in your profession? Well, uh, thanks, Al, for asking the question. <laughs> you know, as a financial advisor over the years, I've seen uh, a lot of situations and Probably the most saddening thing I've seen over the years is that people spend 30, 40 years of their lives working. And in that 30, 40 year period, they have no money. All right? Mm -hmm. So, from my perspective, they lose the opportunity to create what I call generational wealth mm -hmm. because what you don't know about money can't hurt you. Mm -hmm. So, how does my econ fit in all that? Well, my econ creates a platform, a system to teach people the A's, the B's, the C's, the D's, all about money, starting from a very simple area to a complex area. It mm -hmm. teaches you how to become a wholesale investor. Mm -hmm. It teaches you about compound interest. It teaches you that that 1% at your bank is costing you thousands and thousands of dollars over a period of time. It teaches you about fees and things of that nature. It teaches you about proper money management. It teaches you about the power of getting out of debt mm -hmm. and adding that debt to your investment portfolio and creating velocity in your life. Mm -hmm. Let me kind of simplify that just a little bit for you. Let's say a person is spending $1,000 a month in long-term debt. When I say long-term debt, I'm talking about credit cards, student loans, mortgages, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. The mindset and the way we've been trained through consumerism, we're taught that we're going to pay that for the rest of our lives, mm -hmm. that 30-year period. Let me give you a real example. A person with a five or $2,000 credit card, what do they do? They pay their credit card down to 1000 or halfway. They do what they charge it back up, right? Mm -hmm. They pay the credit card down, they charge it back up. So perpetually, they're creating a long-term system of debt they're going to be paying. So that money is earmarked to debt, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, a person can get a mortgage. Uh, that mortgage over a 30-year period, their mindset, they've been taught, I need to pay this mortgage for 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. But we show that person how to get rid of the mortgage, how to get rid of the student loans, how to get rid of all that per perpetual debt in seven to eight years, most times, seven to eight years, we take all that money that's already been earmarked to our debt, and now we invest heavily for our future. Mm -hmm. Typically, we can create anywhere between $1,000 to $2,000 a month of excess money that would earmark to our debt. Mm -hmm. Now we're shifting that money to investments. Mm -hmm. You know, a $2,000 investment <laughs> over a 10 to 15 year period is seven to $800,000. Mm -hmm. A $2,500 investment over a 13 year period is $1 million. Mm -hmm. So we take the same timeline. We get a person out of debt, seven, eight, 19 years, right? Mm -hmm. The next 19 years, they take all the excess money that was designed to go in debt, mm -hmm. now it's going into their personal wealth capital, they're building mm -hmm. wealth, right? Mm -hmm. So now, we just change the whole trajectory of what their future looks like, what their family looks like. Mm -hmm. Here's the second part. Most people are always thriving on getting to 62, 65. Mm -hmm. You get to 62, 65, you got a half a million, a million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. But are you dying at 62 and 65? That's right. You're not, are you? No. So no. for the next 20, 30 years, that money is sitting there accumulating and compounding. Mm -hmm. So a typical person having a half a million dollars at age 65, by the age 85, we're talking about a two, three, or four million dollar estate that changed the trajectory of a whole generation mm -hmm. that would have never happened before. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell people, we got to learn how to stop starting at zero in our generations. Mm -hmm. That means we have no money to pass on to the next generation. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yes. I know it's a long mm -hmm. answer, mm -hmm. but I want to be real clear on, on what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? <laughs> no, that's, that's... Does it make sense, though? Yes, it does. It does. Real simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We changed mm -hmm. our mindset about the debt. Mm -hmm. We don't believe in all the long-term debt. We're paying off the mortgages. We're paying off the student loans. We're paying off the credit cards. We're mm -hmm. doing all that stuff in about an 8- to 10-year period. Mm -hmm. Because mentally, we were designed to pay those things for a lifetime, not even thinking about it. It's just part of our life. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So okay. when you talked about uh, change your mind uh, uh, about spending, what do you need to do to change your mind about spending? Well, that's a good question. Because sometimes like people take an inventory of where their money is going. Most people don't know where their money is going. So the first thing you got to do to change your mindset is look in the mirror and be serious about where is my money going. You take an assessment. I tell most people, go to your bank account, if you're brave enough, and audit that bank account for the last 6 to 12 months. And find out where all your money went. Did it go into food? Did it go into just leisure living? Did it go into vacationing? And all that. Because here's your real facts. See. $3.33 a day over a 30-day period is $100 a month. $100 a month over a 20-year period is $75,000. So think about all the $3.33 a day that we just leisurely give away and throw away. Mm -hmm. But, okay, 
What if it's something on sale? You see something? Good. Okay. So um, <clears throat> with that, we're going to close this uh, interview. But uh, Mr. Thomas, I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh -huh. And uh, it's been a, a pleasure and an honor just learning more about what you have to bring to the table to my econ. So thank you very much. Hey, no problem. Okay. All right. I need a dip.